the new Pencil tool 2.5 feels almost like a brand new tool. The update was great. Good news is, if you update to version 2.5, your old Pencil tool is already replaced with the new one, so you don't need to do anything. Simply grab it from the tool panel on the left. Then you got some options to customize the Pencil tool. You can select the stroke color here. You can select how thick the line will be. There's also a control option. In my case, right now I'm not using any form of pen with the pressure, so I will select none. You can put a bit of stabilizer on it. So you will feel like you're kind of dragging something behind the cursor. So the line will be a bit smoother. And then you can decide how long is that line between the cursor and the actual tool. All right. So let's keep it this way. I will not auto close and I will not use fill for now. So I'm going to try to do this first little challenge by tracing those lines I drew before. I will just lock the layers with those lines and I will try with the first one at the very top here. And take a look. i pulling the tool behind this stabilize thing. And when I release my mouse, I will end up with the line. We don't need a dash line anymore. All right. You may notice some great improvement already in the past it was really hard to make those sharp notes in cases like those strong turns but now i got one two three four five six six sharp notes i messed up only one that's probably only my fault because i didn't make a sharp turn if you want to turn this like soft corner into sharp note just click at the top sharp and you are good to go as you can see we don't have many unnecessary points but if you still want to remove the manual you can click on the point hit delete on your keyboard that will do and take a look this is so close to what i will get from the actual pen tool and we use only pencil you can still adjust the line just by simply pulling the line around our notes are nice and sharp. You can, of course, use some alignment tricks that I show you in the past. We can make same distancing. So alignments also works with notes like that. All right, so that's a great result for the pencil tool, not the pen tool. That's it great update and the most important part is exactly the same on ipad so with the apple pencil we can finally have a proper pencil experience you don't need to only use pen tool all right let's try to trace the next thing this time i will switch off stabilize keep in mind today i'm using mouse so this is kind of ultimate test if i want to trace this and i hold shift I will end up with the line like that. I release my mouse too fast, so undo. Let's try again. Hold Shift from beginning. Okay, and we got only one extra node, and all of them are sharp. Take a look, a quick fix, and we got a perfect corner here without the pen tool, all with pencil tool. That's really nice. Even though I'm kind of butchering this with my mouse, I got a nice hard shape and take a look how many notes. One, two, three, four, five only. And I didn't close the shape yet. But by placing those two notes at the end together, I got a close shape now. Nice. So that's a great result. That was a super challenging shape and we made it with the pencil tool i'm so impressed about this updated version really it's a great update all right how about this kind of line man take a look only one two three four five five notes that's like the minimum we can't get less than that for this shape perfect how about more geometric shapes 
again. It's recommended to hold shift when you're going for those perfect straight lines. And again, I mess it up a little bit, but we can still fix it with the node tool. So if I want to do it one more time, I would turn on the setting for auto close. And this way I can kind of make it a bit easier. All right, and then I just move this guy here, deleting only two unnecessary nodes. So that's a nice result. And we got this rather squarish shape using pencil, not a pen tool. And the biggest challenge for today will be this shape, this double circle thing connected with those very challenging sharp turns. Okay, I butchered the bottom here, but keep in mind I'm using the mouse for all of these tests. And take a look, that's what I want to see. That's the perfect angle here. We got curvy one coming into a sharp node and then becoming curvy again. Actually, it's a challenge to do on pen tool if you have no experience with pen tool. Unfortunately, the other side is not perfect. We got two nodes together, so that's something that you will still need to improve with node tool. Keep in mind, if something is not right, don't delete the whole line or whole shape. Simply make those adjustments with the node tool. That's fine. The node tool is here to help us to give this final shape to our curve. You can click on the node to delete it. You can click on the line to add a new node or simply push the line itself. All right, so today we look into a new version of Pencil Tool. Now, I will not bully it anymore. I always recommend the Pen Tool instead, but with this brand new version, we can actually finally use it for a proper drawing. And you will get this more organic, a bit more natural line. So if you are aiming into like organic design, not like perfect, smooth, straight lines, that's even better. All right, keep in mind the node tool is for us to help us for some final adjustments. And don't forget to test it out on iPad as well, because on iPad it's feel even better with the control from Apple Pencil. So that's a, one of the biggest feature from the recent update 2.5. So be sure you already update before you try to use the pen tool again. I hope this short demonstration was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.